Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with a simple guide for cleaning and protecting leather seats. First and foremost, you want to give the leather seats a good and thorough vacuum, making sure you remove all loose bits of dirt and debris. Don't forget to prise the seams of the leather with one hand so you are then able to reach deeply into the crevices of the seats, as a lot of dirt and debris tends to get trapped in these hard to get to areas. I use both the soft brush attachment for the George pneumatic vacuum and also the thinner attachment to reach into the other gaps of the seats, such as the sides of the leg support and also right at the back of the seat base where it meets the back support. Failure to vacuum leather seats correctly before agitation using various brushes and cleaning chemicals could in fact damage the leather surface. Consider the vacuum stage the pre-cleaning stage so we reduce the chance of scrubbing any grit, sand or other large foreign bodies over the surface of the leather. Something to bear in mind with whatever leather cleaning chemical you intend to use. Always complete a test spot first by applying the cleaning chemical to an inconspicuous area of the leather. Leave the test spot for 5-10 to 10 minutes and then wipe it with a microfiber towel and check for any colour transfer or discoloration to the leather surface. If you are going to have any problems with cleaning the leather, then this test spot is going to let you know. So this vehicle in particular is a 2016 BMW 3 Series Estate. The leather seats are a little bit greasy from daily use as this is a family vehicle, however they are not in all that bad of a condition. I've opted to use Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner diluted 9 to 1 and two different types of leather brushes. The first one which is a Swiss Vax interior detail brush so reasonably soft which I'll initially use to spread the cleaning product and begin to get it nice and sudsy whilst working it into all the gaps and crevices of the leather. On its own this combination of a soft detailing brush and all purpose cleaner does in fact produce good results. The only reason why you would need to use a stiffer bristle leather brush would only be if the leather needs it. This driver's seat for example is the highest wear area in the vehicle so I have also opted to use a stiffer brush made by Sonax. Obviously the stiffer bristles of this brush are going to release the more stubborn dirt and stains from the leather. Let's say if this leather was incredibly dirty and provided the vehicle make isn't something like a Ferrari, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, Bentley, Rolls Royce or a McLaren then you can pretty much dilute your all purpose cleaners anywhere from 4 to 1 to 10 to 1 depending on the severity of staining. The above vehicle manufacturers use some of the most expensive leather that can be found in the world which is incredibly soft. The likes of BMW, Audi, Volkswagen and Mercedes tend to use real leather in their top model cars and a mixture of genuine leather and synthetic vinyl in their lower level cars. I wouldn't imagine a vehicle like a Ferrari or Lambo to have incredibly dirty leather and it's just as important to correctly clean leather or synthetic vinyl in a 10k car as it is with a 200k supercar, it's just less nerve wracking. But you always need to take care with every vehicle you valet or detail regardless of its market value. So dilute your all purpose cleaner to suit the condition of the car. Incredibly dirty then 4 or 5 to 1, medium dirtiness then around 7 to 1 and general dirtiness like this BMW 3 Series then around 8, 9 or 10 to 1 and don't forget to complete your test spot first. My apologies for the dodgy auto focusing with the camera and also the misted up lens. I didn't set the camera up properly which is the cause of the constant auto focusing and it's misting up because I had all but one door closed, although I'm sure the footage is still watchable. After each section of the seat has been thoroughly agitated, so seat bases first, take a clean microfiber towel and wipe the seats until they are dry. At this stage, provided you agitated the seats enough using a correctly diluted mix of all purpose cleaner, the leather seat should now be clean with a matte finish and not shiny or glossy which is caused by grease. I'll treat each section of the leather this exact same way, any stubborn stains or excessive grease then I will use the Sonax brush for extra scrubbing power. 
I wipe each section down straight after using a microfiber towel and when the whole car is complete I will re-vacuum the seats using the soft attachment just to make sure the seats are as clean as they possibly can be. The seats are now ready for protecting. 
To keep things simple, in today's video, I'm going to be using a product made by Valet Pro, which is called Leather Protector. This product is going to help prevent dye transfer from clothing to the leather surface. It will leave a water repellent finish, the leather will be fresh to the touch, and future maintenance cleaning will be a breeze. The product is very easy to use. Simply apply it to a microfiber applicator and work over the leather surface, ensuring even coverage. And don't forget to make sure those gaps and crevices are also coated. When the complete seat has been thoroughly worked over with the product, take a fresh microfiber towel and wipe off the excess product to reveal a nicely protected leather surface. Okay, so this isn't my favorite leather protection product. In fact, my all-time favorite is G-Technic L1 Leather Guard, which I've already covered in a video from a couple of years ago called G-Technic Interior Protection Full Explanation. I've linked this video in this video's description, so if you want to find out about what I believe is the best leather protection product, then be sure to watch that video after finishing watching this one. G-Technic L1 Leather Guard requires you to apply two layers of the product with 24 hours curing time required between each layer. Valet Pro Leather Protector is perfect for the mobile valeter, where the job needs to be completed in the same day. The finish that Valet Pro Leather Protector produces, particularly on dark coloured leather, is closer to a satin finish. I personally believe that there should be no shine to leather whatsoever. So a matte finish protector such as G-Technic L1 Leather Guard, in my opinion, is the far superior product. There's no denying that the leather interior on the BMW 3 Series Estate is a huge improvement from what we started with. The customer and owner of this vehicle was pleased and the leather seats should now stay protected for a minimum of 6 months. As always, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Drop the video a like and don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Just search JP Details. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.